These are the gardens of Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire. Home to one of the biggest hedge mazes in the world. This type of navigation problem is a well-known battleground of the sexes. Men never ask for directions. They think they're better than women at getting from A to B. Professor Peter McLeod has come to find out whether, just sometimes, they might be right. There are many stereotypes about the differences between the way that men and women solve problems. And although some of these stereotypes may be based on prejudices and biases, when you find the same stereotypes appear in all cultures and all over the world, you can't help thinking there must be something in them. Ten boys and ten girls are trying to reach the statue at the centre of the maze. But the first objective is a wooden bridge that gives an overview of the layout. This is where McLeod and his maze runners will gather their thoughts. How are you doing? Uh, it's really, really hard. hard. <laughs> Do you recognise any of it? Well... Which are the bits where you've been? It went around that far side, with the zigzag bit, yep. and then up here. I remember most of the turns that I've been through. The boys seem to be looking at the big picture. They have a strong memory of where they've been and where they need to go. I'm just trying to keep going in that direction. Or at least they think they do. I'm going to go right. No, I'm not. I'm going left. Oh, God. Why? The human brain has two hemispheres, left and right. Most of our thinking happens in the thin outer layer of each, called the cortex. But in males, the cortex is thicker in the right brain, which excels at spatial thinking. So boys are thought to use a highly spatial strategy. They create a mental image of the whole maze to use as a map. Then they might use a reference point like the sun, to figure out where they are. And by rotating their mental maps, they can then decide which way to turn next. So the boys have good spatial awareness, navigating with a strong sense of where they are in the overall maze. But are the girls thinking the same way? If you had to draw a map of the maze when you got out, do you think you could do it? No. no. <laughs> What could you remember when you got out, do you think? Um, probably the bit with all the circles and the different circles. Ah, because you can remember what those circles look like. Is, yeah. that, is that the idea? Yeah. The girls are less interested in the big picture. They're picking up on specific details. I now know where to go now because I, once I get out of these circle bits... They're using some distinctive circular hedges as landmarks. Like the boys, the girls also use their right brains for navigation. But in the girls, the corpus callosum, which connects the two halves of the brain, is better developed. So girls also rely on the left brain, which excels at verbal reasoning. Rather than the whole maze, they focus on features that they can describe in words, like the circular hedges. The girls navigate by following a list of directions, from landmark to landmark. But with no overall map of the maze, it's easy to lose sight of the landmarks and get lost. This particular maze might favour boys because it doesn't have many obvious visual features in it. The hedges all look the same. There are some shapes, but there aren't clear points that you might remember. In this kind of maze, scientists consistently find that boys come out ahead by using their mental maps. Yeah, on that. In mazes with more prominent landmarks, it's the girls who would take the honours. But today, they have to settle for second place. 